What is up guys, welcome back to another flea market grab video. If you guys are enjoying the videos, hit that like button. It lets me know, it helps the channel grow. Go ahead and drop a comment down below. I try to respond to all the comments I can and subscribe if you're not already and you guys do enjoy these videos. So let's go see what we can find this week. So this is something I don't really ever pick up, but it's really cool. <laughs> this uh like um school supplies box but as you can see it's banjo kazooie it's actually dated 1998 and it has like a 3d print it's not coming up in the camera <laughs> but yeah this is uh really dope and it's actually like officially licensed nintendo found this in this pile of a dollar stuff i'm about to buy it and we're gonna do a live unboxing Uh, this 1996 Olympic, Atlanta Olympics mouse pad. How much is the hat? Two dollars. All right, guys, I'm back in my car. <laughs> we got the Pokemon pack I paid a dollar for. I figured I'd just go ahead and open it right now and see what we got. Um, Let's see if I remember how to open these. There's like a specific way you open them. Uh, need some time to open this. I got it open. Uh, I was looking to see if he had some more. If he had more of these for a dollar, I definitely would have picked them up. I just enjoy opening them. Hold on, let me put y'all down for a minute. All right, I got it open. I didn't realize how hard this was going to be with one hand. <laughs> Let's see if I remember how to do this. So you pull them out. Um, you throw this bottom one. Wait, how does it go? All right, so you pull them out. You throw the card, the code card to the side. And then you do one, two, three, put those on the bottom. I think that's how you do it. All right. So we got a Haunter, <laughs> Dashing Pouch. We got a Hakamo O, Cora Blast, Skiddo, Chime Echo, Mischievous, Stuffle, a Reverse Larion, and then a Hollow Agron. So. Eh, not too bad for a dollar, I guess. Oh, there's an energy. So let's uh, go see what else we can find. Grab this Patagonia hat. Two bucks. It's like brand new, too. And then this copy of uh, Need for Speed Most Wanted, which it's like a tie between Most Wanted and um, Underground for my favorite Need for Speed of all time. So I got that for seven bucks, but it's like a $30 game. These two up for 35 He wanted 20 each, but he told me if I took both, he'd give them to me for 35 we got some uh, hologram phones. I think those are seven Y, but I'm not too sure because the size tag's missing. And then some penny fours in the Orlando colorway. So I guess that's pretty decent. All right, guys, we are back. So let me go ahead and show you guys the stuff that I picked up this week. So the first thing I picked up, I actually paid a little bit more for it than I really wanted to. I ended up spending 10 bucks on it, which is still a decent price, but I needed to change at the time so I can go back and buy the game I'm gonna show you guys next. But it's this Indigo GameCube control. You can see it's an official one. It does have the Nintendo GameCube right there. It's still super clean and um, you can never have too many of these. One of the R buttons on one of my orange spice controls I have actually went out recently. So, um, probably just throw this one in my personal collection. And then the game that I needed to change to go back and buy, um, he didn't have change for a 20, so that's why I went and found that control, paid 10, got changed, I went back and bought Need for Speed Most Wanted on the Xbox 360. And that one is complete with the manual and everything. Personally, if I had to pick my favorite Need for Speed of all time, it would come down between this one or Need for Speed Underground 2, but they're both really close. And I ended up paying seven bucks for this game, but this game, they're still asking like $30 on it at GameStop. And I think that's about what it's worth too online. But this is what I'm either gonna keep or I'm gonna give to my little cousin to play. Next game I picked up, paid $4 for this one. Sega Genesis game, unfortunately it is cartridge only. I remember at one time this game was going for like $30, $35. I don't know what it goes for now. I haven't checked in a while, but it's a copy of Mutant League Football on the Sega Genesis. It's basically exactly what it sounds like. A football game when you're playing as like monster mutants. So I grabbed that one for four bucks. This next thing I grabbed is really, technically is not a video game, but it is video game related. It's another plush. I ended up grabbing this for only five bucks. Probably gonna end up keeping this or giving it to like my brother or something. Um, it's this Donkey Kong plush right here from 2001. He's got a little dirt right there on his nipple. As you can see on the tag, it's an official Nintendo from 2001. I don't know if it's gonna come up in the camera. It's not too big, but I figured for only five bucks, I'd go ahead and grab it. So that's all the video gaming stuff, but I also did grab this for only $2. 
It is the complete uncensored series of the Boondocks. This is probably another one I'm gonna be keeping for my personal collection. Whenever I find like the single seasons, like season one, season two, season three or whatever, I get rid of them. But um, I think this is kind of cool since it's like the complete series. So this is like really all you need. So I'll probably end up just holding on to this one. But I already checked inside. It has all the discs and everything. Um, and all the discs are still in great shape. So I had no problem paying two bucks for that. This next thing I paid a dollar for. I don't even know if people still use these, these mouse pads. Um, but this one I thought was pretty cool. It's this 1996 Atlanta Olympic Games mouse pad. It says US Olympics teams down here, Atlanta, 1996. And you just have like the city of Atlanta on there. Um, it looks like somebody wrote on it with pen. I'm gonna try to clean that up. I don't really know what I'm gonna do with this, but for only a dollar, I could not leave it behind. Next up, let's go ahead and jump into the hats. I actually picked up three hats this week. So the first one I paid two bucks for, but this one's basically like brand new. And it's this Patagonia trucker hat right here. You got the Patagonia fish right there on the front with the, that Patagonia color scheme. And then on the back, you can see it's a trucker hat and you got the little Patagonia tag back there as well. Paid two bucks for this one, but this one's like super clean. It looks like it honestly has never been worn. So I went ahead and picked that one up. These next two, I was only gonna get one, um, but she told me it was one for $2 or if I buy more, then there'll be a dollar each. So basically I could have got this first one for two or both of these for two. So I just went ahead and took this other one. But this is the one I wanted originally for $2. Um, this Polo Golf Ralph Lauren hat right here you just got your simple polo golf spelled out with a little flag ralph lauren on the inside you got the polo golf tag this one is a little dirty so i'm gonna have to try to clean this one up um if you guys can see it's pretty yellowed so i'm gonna try to clean that one up but in the end i got it for a dollar and then the second one i got is the tommy hilfiger strap back right here you got the th embroidered right down the front on the back tommy hilfiger spelled out there is the tag Tommy Hilfiger. Um, again, this one's pretty dirty, so I'm gonna have to clean this one up as well. But I got both of those for a dollar each. And then the last four things I picked up are all sneakers. So yes, I did pick up some sneakers this week. I know last week I didn't, but that's just how it goes sometimes. So the first pair I picked up, I found these for $5. It is a toddler shoe. They are size 5C and it's a pair of the Dirty Bread 13s. Whenever I find these little toddler Jordans for cheap, I usually pick them up because they usually do sell for like $30, $35, sometimes more depending on what they are. So when I seen these on the ground for five bucks, I went ahead and scooped them up. So this next pair I paid $15 for. I never pick up this brand. It's not that I know they're not worth something. It's just every single time I find a pair of these, they're always super beat. Um, this is like the first really clean pair I found for a good price. It's a pair of these Hoka 1-1. I think that's what I call Hoka 1-1 um, running shoes. These are in men's size 10. Picked these up for 15 bucks, listed them on eBay. A couple hours later, they sold for 90. So these have already been sold. Um, definitely a brand to look out for. Like I said, it's not that I don't look for them. It's just whenever I do find them, they're always super beat up. As you can see, these, this pair right here is super clean. And when I threw them up online, they didn't last very long. And then these last two pairs of shoes, I got two for 35. He wanted $20 a piece for them. I was actually talking to him for a little while. He was telling me how he collects sneakers. And then when he wears them a little bit, he gets rid of them. Cool guy. Uh, like I said, he wanted $20 a piece, but then he told me if I took both, he'd just give them to me for 35. So I went ahead and took them. Okay, so the first pair is this pair of foam posits right here in a size seven Y. Originally, I thought this was like a pair of like hologram foam posits just because of the way the colorway is. But I guess they're like Legion greens or something like that. I mean, the holograms basically look exactly the same, except that the stripes on the tongue are silver instead of green. And the bottoms are clear, not black. Still a cool colorway though. It's still pretty clean overall too, if you guys can tell. Here's the other one. These need a quick cleaning and these will be good to go. So that's the first pair I got for the two for 35. And then the second pair I got, these are actually my size, but I don't, don't think I'm gonna keep them even though I do like this shoe. And that is a pair of the Penny 4s in the Orlando colorway. So if you're gonna get a pair of Penny 4s, this is the colorway to get. This is the OG Orlando colorway in the black, blue, and white. Here is the other one, still pretty clean. They just need a quick cleaning, just like the foam posits, of course. Bottoms are still good on those. The reason I say I'm not gonna keep these even though I do like them, I actually have had a pair of these in my collection for the longest time. Um, it's a pair that came out, I wanna say like 05. They're like a black, silver, and white colorway. Um, I've had those in my collection forever and I never wear them. So I know if I end up keeping these, I'm not gonna wear them. So I'd rather just let them go. Cool shoe in my opinion, but people don't really show them love. Really just the Penny 1s and the Penny 2s are the ones a lot of people talk about. I personally really like the Penny 3s um, and then the Penny 4s are pretty cool too. I think the Penny 1s are my favorite though out of the whole line. But yeah, got these Penny 4s for um, I guess 1750. You guys wanna think about it that way. But I got these and the phone posits for $35 total. So those are my flea market grabs for this week guys. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, Hit that like button, it lets me know, it helps the channel grow. Go ahead and drop a comment down below. I try to respond to all the comments I can and subscribe if you guys are not already. I appreciate everybody who watches my videos and hits that like button. So I just wanna announce this uh, ahead of time. 
once we hit 15k on the channel i'm gonna be giving away this notre dame uh, graffiti snapback right here that one is by top of the world on the side you got irish in that graffiti logo or graffiti print i guess um you got the little fighting irish logo right down the front still super clean so make sure you hit that like button and subscribe if you're not already uh because once we hit 15k i will be giving away this hope you guys enjoyed the video and i will see you guys next week with another one so later I'm a chef -chef Thank you.